Welcome everybody to this week's edition of Valpo Baseball Weekly. Brandon Vickery with you. Glad to be joined by Valpo second baseman Chase Dawson. And uh, Chase, let's talk about this season a little bit. And certainly you've been a tough out over the course of your career. But this season especially, leading the team in hitting among the league leaders. What's worked for you well at the plate? Um, just adjusting well. Um, I think that the top of the order is doing so well that I got good hitters in front of me, good hitters behind me. And I mean, they've been making my job a lot easier. It's coming down the final stretch for you here. Senior day coming up on Sunday with senior day coming up. A good time to have some perspective on your career. Just what has it meant to you to be a part of this Valpo program? Uh, this program's taught me a lot. Uh, I wouldn't trade this for the world. Uh, my teammates, coaches, field, anything. Uh, this experience has been awesome. As you look forward here, kind of last chance, you go into these last few series in the conference tournament. Uh, what are some goals? What do you want to accomplish over the rest of your college career? Uh, just a couple more wins. Um, I think I'm a big believer in peaking, and uh, this team's peaking, in my opinion. I've seen a lot of good things this weekend over the past couple weekends, and I want us to feel our best towards the end of the season. I think that's the goal, and I think we're getting there, honestly. This season, you've moved into the middle of the lineup where you'd, you'd hit ninth some, you hit leadoff a lot. What's it been like? What's the adjustment to hitting in the middle of that order? Not as many good pitches to swing at, which is uh, one of the adjustments I had to make, but uh, I like it. I think it's different. I'm glad I got to experience this, uh, but it's been great. I love it. There he is, Valpo senior Chase Dawson. Now glad to be joined by the head coach of Valpo, Brian Schmack, as we look back at this past weekend's series at Bradley. And let's start maybe with the first two games, two clean games that had to be encouraging for you to see. Uh, maybe what were the takeaways from those two games? Yeah, it was pretty fun to watch, actually. You know, I came out on the wrong end of the first one, but it was a, a well-pitched game all around. Uh, it was good to see John attack in the zone and be able to go the distance, which is something that he is capable of doing. I think it was his first one all year. But, um, you know, this game two, obviously, is very similar from our side, threw a lot of strikes, uh, got out some jams, had some relievers come in, pick some guys up. So, um, you know, to come out on the, on the good end of that one was a lot better. And in game two, we talked about the fact that it wasn't one heroic effort that gave you the win, but more of a team win with some situational hitting. Uh, what are the keys to continuing to manufacture some runs in those ways? Yeah, just trying not to do too much. We talked about that before. It was, you know, a couple ground balls, a sack fly. I think we had one hit that moved some guys over. But like you said, nobody did anything super. They just put the ball in play. And I know that sounds kind of basic and ridiculous. But, uh, you know, uh, there's often times when guys try to do too much and be the hero. And all we need is a ground ball. You know, and they were able to do that. And, and again, we threw strikes and played good defense, which is our, our recipe for success. We've talked plenty about two of your bullpen arms, but I think it bears repeating as they were key in Saturday's win again in Montana Quigley and Easton Roadhouse. How important are those two to the team's success? Yeah, I mean, obviously very big. And, you know, Montana got roughed up early in the year and kind of shook him a little bit. But he's, he's back to throwing strikes and, you know, the confidence is back. And Easton's kind of had that good year where he's, he's done it all year. So to be able to count on those guys right now is, is key for us. And uh, they'll be important down the stretch. Final home weekend, you have Senior Day coming up on Sunday. A senior class that has an all-conference player from a year ago in Blake Billinger, has two cornerstones of the program over the last four years in Sam Shaken and Chase Dawson. As what will you remember about this year's senior class? Yeah, always bittersweet. I mean, those guys are, you know, they've, I think Sam and Chase have played almost, it seems like every game they've been here for four years, you know, so to lose those guys, especially up the middle is, is going to be tremendous, you know, for us and Blake, the impact he's made in his two short years is, uh, it's hard, to, <laughs> it's hard to replace right away, you know, so, um, you know, we'll move on, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that those guys will be honored and it'll be pretty, pretty special for those guys on Sunday, so. There is the head coach of Alpo, Brian Schmack. Uh, it's a busy week of games again with Michigan State on the road on Wednesday. Then the three-game conference series against Southern Illinois Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Emory G. Bauer Field. For all the latest in Valpo baseball, check out valpoathletics.com.